Hi there, my name is Paul Simmons. I'm one of the Pro Tools instructors over here at Paramind.com. I'm here to here today to show you some of the new editing features of Pro Tools 12.3. Now it's kind of a big release and there's lots of new editing features available and I felt it warranted a video tutorial to go over some of this new stuff. So let's dig in. And the first thing I'd like to show you is the new commit feature in Pro Tools. This really has to do with improving the workflow and it's really expanding upon offline bounce which came out with Pro Tools 11. All you need to do is select a track or a number of tracks and go to track commit. You can also do this by right clicking the track nameplate and choosing commit. And what this will do is it's now gonna bounce this entire track. We can choose to commit selected tracks or just the edit selection. With that, we can choose to consolidate the clips or keep them separate. We can render automations. So if there's any volume or mute or pan automation, we can render those into the clip. I'm gonna leave those for now and it will just copy it over to the new track. We can also choose to copy any sends or group assignments and then we're gonna to choose to insert after last selected track, which is this one. And then we have options for the source tracks. Do we want to make an active, hide and make an active, delete the track or do nothing? I think most of the time it would make sense to hide and make an active so that we can always make changes later if we need to. So I choose hide and make an active. We're gonna have an offline bounce and click OK. And there we go. The original MIDI track has been hidden and made inactive, and we now have our print. So this is really useful for freeing up resources in your session. Also, if you want to pass this on to another mixer and they don't have the same plugins that you have available, such in this case I'm using Contact, then this is an efficient workflow. Now this is also an operation that can be undone with Command Z or Edit Undo. And we've gone back to our original track. Now Pro Tools 12.3 allows you to be even more flexible with your bounces in that we can now print up to a certain plugin. Say we wanted to print the contact drums to a new track, but not print this EQ I have next in the chain. What I can do instead of right clicking the track, if I right click the plugin, I can choose to commit up to this insert. Just like before, we'll commit the entire track, same options as before, click OK, and what it will do is it will make the EQ inactive and add that EQ to the new print. Now here's another fantastic thing you can do. I'm gonna go back to my original drums for a sec. Hide and make an active, go back to my drums, make active. One thing that you can now do is if I create a stereo audio track, we can now simply just drag down the MIDI onto an audio track and it will print it. This is huge. This is a huge workflow improvement, saves a bunch of time. No more manual routing of buses to make this happen. We can simply just drag and drop to a new track. Huge. Now, as I mentioned before, this new track commit feature isn't limited to just one track at a time. It'll work for however many tracks you have selected and go track commit. But even deeper than that, what it allows you to do is in one step, print an instrument that has multiple outputs. So for example, in this case, I have Superior Drummer as my virtual drum machine, and I've set up multi-output from this plugin so that the individual parts of the kit, the kick, snare, hi-hats, etc., are going to separate individual aux tracks in Pro Tools. Now, if I wanted to hand this over to a mixer and they didn't have Superior Drummer, I'd need to print all the MIDI as audio. And that would be a multi-step process that would take a long time. I'd have to route all the individual tracks to individual buses and print. But now we can do it all with one step. If I select all the tracks, and let's say I don't want to print all the plugins like we did before, what I'm gonna do is holding Shift and Option on a Mac which is apply to selected, 
and right click on the Superior Drama plugin, I'm going to choose Commit Up to this insert. Now what that's going to do is it's going to print all of these tracks, but only up to insert A. So what you can see here is that I've moved all the mixing plugins to slot B and below and left to slot A free so that it can copy all of these plugins to the new tracks. So commit selected tracks. I'm not going to render the volume and mute, that's going to copy over. Same, I want to copy the sends group assignments and insert after last selected track. With the source tracks, we're going to hide and make inactive. Offline bounce, click OK. And there you can see, it's printed all the individual elements of the kit and copied the plugins over. Another huge time saver. So another new feature of 12.3 is the clip transparency feature. So if I go ahead and zoom in here, we've got two vocal lines and you can see how they're slightly out of sync. If I take the grabber tool and now drag the clip, you can now see the new clip position and the waveform with it overlaid over the old position, which makes aligning and moving and editing that much easier. It just takes the guesswork out of it. There's also the new batch fades. So if I go zoom toggle, just to zoom in here, and I'll use strip silence to just separate these clips. If I wanted to create batch fades across these, as before I'd go Command F, but now the new batch fades dialog box, you can now control the in shape versus the out shape and the crossfade shape and make them different, but also do them all in one go. And there we go. So I hope that was of use to you. I know it's certainly helping my workflow. Um, thanks for checking out my video. Uh, if you want to see more, then go to paramind.com slash training where you'll find more tips and tricks. Okay, see you next time. very much like to thank Pyramide for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool and until I came here for the first time, I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do, and especially in electronic music. Since, since coming to Pyramind, I, I've discovered electronic music, and you know, San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact. When people get to the mind-melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths, down to the, the finest detail. We, we learned it all. The fundamentals of understanding how things work, that's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more, and that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like, the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just, you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music, um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really help me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.